Now I will demonstrate the process of uploading an e-planning application through the Citizen Portal. Uh, as we just covered, you'd come to the Citizen Permit Portal. The first thing you need to do is fill in these two fields that enable you to log in. And the first field, you can either provide your user ID or the email you associated with your public user account. And then you need to provide the password associated with the public user account and select the login button or hit enter. The system should respond by displaying hello, comma, and your username. You want to then select the planning module tab. This brings you to the planning module and uh, in the instance where you have submitted other planning applications in the past, those would all be displayed here in the applications area. This video is dedicated to showing someone who's never done this before. Uh, after you complete the process, your newly created record will display here and I'll show you that. So you would select create planning application submittal. Then you come to the all too familiar general disclaimer, which you need to review, agree to by checking and then select continue application. Step one, the site information page asks that you convey the property that you will be doing the project at, you can provide a street address, some properties for planning applications don't already have a street address, so the minimum requirement is that you provide a parcel. Once you fill in the parcel number field or the address field, uh, it will the system will automatically populate the rest of these fields as well as the owner information at the bottom. Once this is complete, select continue application. Step two is the designation of the applicant for the project. Since you're logged into your public user account, any contacts that you associated with that public user account can be selected by selecting from the account. As we cover in the video covering setting up your public user account, you can add contacts by going to the account management tab. You can also look up contacts if you are in the system already. Um, ideally, you would select from account. continue application, then you come to the application page, step three. Here you're designated which type of application you're submitting to planning, an entitlement application uh, or an application where you're seeking clearance to submit for a building permit. All building permits have to be first approved for submission by the planning division or a pre-submittal zoning review. If you're unsure of which is appropriate, select the question bubble, and there is a definition of what each of these is for. In this case, we're going to select the building permit submittal clearance. This triggers the opening of a few more fields. All building permit applications are required to have a project value. So you need to provide that here, the value that you put on your building permit application. In this case, we're building a new residential building. And I'm just going to type a brief scope of work. And then 
then select continue application. Step four is the uploading of the documents that will make up your application. These should be PDF documents. Uh, you can see that each of these blue headings corresponds to the different application types. We selected building permit submittal clearance. So we need to provide these three document types, a building construction plan, building permit application, and building supplemental. You now navigate to where you've stored those files. If you don't have them prepared, you can hit save and resume, and that will keep the work you've done so far. Once you select add, a dialog box opens up, enabling the file upload. You select add again, navigate to the location of the files that you wish to upload. If they're all three located in one place, you can use the control key or hold the control key down and select all three of them and then hit open. You want to then wait until the progress bars reach 100% and then select continue. Now you need to designate the document type, which each of these files is. This one here is a building construction plans, so we'll pick building construction plans. Right, brief description of the file. The next one is the application, so I'm picking building permit application. And the third is the supplemental, so I'm picking building supplemental. Then select save. This triggers the uploading of the files and you know you have successfully uploaded them when you see the green banner indicating successful upload. Now you can select continue application. This brings you to the review page where you can review everything you've done up to this point. There's an edit buttons for each step when you select that edit button, it allows you to edit what you did previously. If everything looks good there, select continue application. And the system indicates again with a green banner that you have successfully submitted your application. It gives you your PLN number, in this case, PLN 20-00040. I like to select the planning tab again, and you can see that the record you just submitted is there now in the in your applications area because you're still logged into your account. And that concludes the demonstration. It's that easy. Thank you.